Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started, but first, Dave's Coffee from Rhode Island. Oh, so perfect. So perfect. This was a gift from Pete Hammond. Thank you again, Pete. I'm just going to sit here and have coffee. You can join me if you want. <laughs> mm. Wow. Lovely. Appreciate that. You ready for some truth? <laughs> I don't get great pleasure from dropping truth bombs. I don't get satisfaction from it. I do it hesitantly. Some guys are just love offending people. I don't. I don't. Even if it's true. People say, people might say, well, it's the truth. I get that. Sometimes the truth is hard to swallow. It is. And with that in mind, let's start today's Daybreak Show. When women tell the truth about women, it's worse than what any red pill guy can say. So when a woman is outraged at the red pill guys, it's fake, selective outrage. Don't doubt me on that. When women tell a man the truth about women, men's jaws drop. Because, because they're not afraid to throw other women under the bus. But when the, the fake selective outrage happens, it's kind of like the sister code. But when women are honest, when women are honest and leave the sister code, they tell you things that confirm and even more the things that you might be thinking about women. For instance, if you're separated, if you're a man right now and you're separated, your woman is dating. You don't want to believe it, but she is. By the time she leaves you, she will have dated seven or eight guys. Once you divorce, the time in between you and the next guy she actually settles down with is going to be another seven to eight men. It's a fact. Women usually have to experiment when they leave a man. That's a fact. Get it through your head, men. Ladies, I know you feel ripped off. You feel you want to try something different. You don't want to go with the same kind of guy. I understand that. Men do the same thing. Men will do the same thing. But the myth that women are sitting home kneeling and praying during separation and divorce is nonsense. I don't care who you are. I don't care who she is. I don't care. I don't care if you, if you teach women's Bible study and are in church every Sunday for four hours. It doesn't matter. I've seen it a thousand times. The numbers don't lie. Go to trade school, gentlemen. Go to trade school. Learn how to do something. The problem with young men today and young women is you don't know how to do anything. You prolong adolescence by going to college with useless degrees, and then you go another two years for a master's degree. So you don't even have to grow up and be a man or a woman until you're 30. Learn how to do something. Then earn some money. And then if you want to go to college, go to college. Most likely you won't. College doesn't teach people how to do anything. You'll enjoy the money, and then you're going to see the futility of a four to six year experience in college. Yes. 2004, a Harvard student invited five of his friends to his dorm room to talk about business ideas. Two of the five showed up. Today, Dustin Moskovitz is worth $10 billion. Eduardo Saverin is worth $6 billion. Their friend, Mark Zuckerberg, is worth $54 billion. Now think about this. He invited five of his friends. Two showed up. Nothing more expensive than a missed opportunity. How many opportunities for growth and wealth and prosperity are you forfeiting 
or have you forfeited? You'll never know, but don't miss opportunities. Don't ever take a fence down until you know the reason it was put up. G. K. Chesterton. Now that's some good advice right there. Once upon a time, a prince asked the beautiful princess, Will you marry me? The princess said no. And the prince lived happily ever after. You fill in the rest. Make school lunches edible again. Melania. Would you rather have a 1965 Mustang or a 1979 Land Cruiser? Put your answer down below. A 65 or a 79? We go to a party and everyone turns to see this beautiful lady that's walking around with me. And then she asks me, do you feel all right? And I say, yes, I feel wonderful tonight. Eric Clapton, 1978. Never forget that you are being shit tested at all times. There's never a day that you live that you crawl out of your bed and go out into the world that you aren't shit tested. Be aware of that. Constantly being shit tested. Your spouse shit tested you today already and you're not even aware of it. Time to wake up, boys and girls. Do you use a virtual assistant, a VA? And at what point did you pull the trigger and hire a VA? Put your answer down below, I'd like to hear that. If their friends and family don't know about you, then you are merely a toy. People get bored with toys, toys wear out, and toys eventually get thrown away. Don't be somebody's toy. You are not a cuck. There's a thing now, men saying, I'm such a cuck. No, you're not. You're not a cuck. You labeled yourself. Never label yourself. Never call yourself a name that you wouldn't tolerate someone else calling you. If some guy came up to you and said, oh, you're such a cuck, you'd, you'd want to punch him. You'd want to, understand what I'm saying? you want to get aggressive. But you are calling yourself names. Oh, I'm such an asshole. Oh, I'm such a jerk. No, you're not. You're not. Stop referring to yourself with derogatory terms. That's going to relate to somebody out here today. So never label yourself. You're not a cuck. You just made, made a series of bad decisions, <clears throat> which have added up to layers now of issues. It may take forever to fix each issue satisfactorily. Is it possible that you married the wrong woman and now you're spending all your energy trying to make her the right woman? Yes, marriage is holy but you can make a bad decision. I don't believe everyone that goes to the altar and says their vows was meant to go to the altar and say their vows. I honestly don't believe that. Don't, make, don't try to make the wrong person the right person. America first, everyone else second. Let's knock out homelessness and hunger here in the United States first. Stop fighting other countries' battles. Enough of the Christian voodoo about the Middle East and all the weird meanings that you give to everything in the Middle East. Stop it. Stop it. You can't keep rescuing countries that get themselves into trouble. Stop rescuing countries that get themselves into trouble. We don't even know who the real terrorists are anymore, right? You see... One terrorist group going around crazy in the Middle East. But yet, when you look deep, you find that the United States funded and started that group. How interesting, right? And where'd you hear it? The news. The news. Programming your mind to create enemies, good guys, and bad guys. Your idea of a good guy and a bad guy has been twisted and manipulated and programmed in your head. Not everyone who you think is a good guy is a good guy. Not everyone you think is a bad guy is a bad guy. Don't doubt me on that. 
You're in a bind now. Be direct with her. Direct. Direct. Alan Roger Curry talks about mode one, direct approach. Direct. Be direct. If you save a marriage that is in trouble, what did you really save? If you say if you save a marriage that never should have happened in the first place, like one we were just talking about, what did you really save? You're administering life support to something that's already dead. It will never come alive, and you're going to spend your entire life doing emergency, life-saving on something that's dead. And if you're a man, most likely you're going to feel guilty for not wanting to do it. So you do it, and you waste years, and you turn gray, and you waste money, and if there's kids involved, you screw their heads up, walk away, walk away, clean slate. The foundation of most marriages that people are trying to save are very rocky. Why do you want to stay with each other? She sounds defective and you, and you sound like you're hell-bent on rescuing her, mainly from herself. Dude, stop rescuing people who don't want to save themselves. Stop it. Walk away, dude. You have my permission. Walk away. Get your shit together. Don't announce it to the world. Get your ducks in a row, just like she would, and then leave. Men feel so guilty about leaving a marriage that sucks. Stop it. Stop it. Money is the answer to most of your problems and your questions. Someone says, the Lord is. I get that. I'm assuming that you already have the Lord in your life. But the Lord does not pay your mortgage or buy you food. Money does. So if you seek money without loving it, don't have a love affair with money, but if you seek money, ways to make it, you can still do that and love the Lord at the same time. For some people, they are mutually exclusive. So don't give me the Lord is the most important thing. Money is the answer to your questions and your problems. Whew, cleaning and cooking is so tiring, isn't it? Pheromone-infused soap. I use it every single day. I give a bar of it to every client that comes in and gets a haircut. I'll put a link for it down below. If you use the promo code SULTAN, you'll get 20% off. It's the biggest discount you can get. Once I started using that soap and saw how it worked, I never went back to anything else. I'm on year number three with the pheromone soap, that tactical soap. I'll put a link down below. Don't doubt me on that. I've done things like I, I use it every day. And I use it to clean my beard once a week. Co I co-wash six days a week and wash my beard with the pheromone soap once a week. Try it. You won't be disappointed. Just do it. Do it. If you want that 1955 housewife, you better be making some money. A minimum of $1,955 a week. It costs you to have that 1955 housewife. A little love helps the truth go down. And you know, I give a damn about you. I don't get any, any satisfaction for dropping truth. That hurts. It grieves me to the point where sometimes I dance around topics because I'm afraid I'm going to hurt your feelings. Because I give a damn. Because I care. Because I'm human. Because there's blood flowing through these veins. Other channels, I'm just dropping the truth. And they get a weird, perverted satisfaction out of dropping the truth. The cold, hard truth. And they have a little smirk on their face. I don't have a smirk on my face when I tell you the truth. I'm dead serious. And it hurts me to hurt you. Especially if it's the truth that's doing the hurting. Keep that in mind. I don't enjoy getting tough with a guy that keeps taking an unfaithful wife back and then apologizing for his shortcomings as if he is the reason why she wanders. My first clue 
is this. She's the breadwinner and he's a stay-at-home dad. I've never seen that successfully happen in the long run. She's got the job. You stay at home. You do part-time stuff. You're a personal trainer. You have a little internet business. You have some Amazon income. But she's paying the mortgage because you can't pay shit with your part-time hobby work. And she even says, I'll, I'll go to work because I make more money. Dude, you need to spend your time figuring out a way to make some money and stop being a house husband. I've never seen it successfully work. Never. Never. And when someone talks to your woman privately, she's going to tell the truth. She doesn't want to be the breadwinner. Don't force her into a position where she is making more than you and carrying most of the financial weight. I don't care how much you feed the babies. I don't care how you clean house. I don't care how you pay the bills and do the food shopping and do the cooking. Dude, it's not going to end pretty. I've seen it more times than I can count. Get out, get a job, get a career, find something. Do not, do not rest. Do not just sit back and be a house husband. Not going to work in the long run. It might look like it's working right now, but she's lost respect for you and in her heart of hearts. You're weak. And it pains me to say that. Some people, uh, the same people that call the MBTI, Myers-Briggs type inventory and other tests, the same people that call those tests, although they're on the same level as astrology, are often alcoholics that adhere to the non-science of AA and the 12 steps. Sure, it can help some. It's one of the many answers, but not the answer. So the bottom line, the verdict on personality tests, they're helpful. They are not the answer, but they're helpful and interesting and can be useful in pairing for jobs or even pairing couples. It's a possibility. But the people who make fun of that stuff are usually the most wishy-washy, unreliable people that you want nothing to do with. Nothing. I know red pill guys that vibe so low, their sex bot told them it just wants to be friends. In order to find a man, a woman does not have to be aggressive or assertive. All they have to do is just lower their resistance. They don't have to do anything. Women have it pretty darn easy. They do. Let's think about it. Come on. Let's get real. Men are always looking and always searching and always trying to do something. A woman just has to wake up, clean herself, do her hair, put on a little makeup, and the men come running. I don't care who you are. All you got to do is lower your resistance to find a man. It's a little bit different for a woman. And men, if you think that you're going to give her some time to think or take a little break, the bottom line is this. If you let her go, you better not take her back because a guy or two will have gone there by the time you take her back. Women have it easy. Women have it easy. Facebook servers are practically blowing up from people changing their profile pics and relationship status with every new partner. Do you have any friends like that where it's like every month there's a new relationship status? Why would you announce that to the world and then change a profile picture, the selfie with you and the new partner? Mm -mm. No more. Stop it. Stop it. Turn off the news and all of a sudden you will not feel overwhelmed. It is a miracle. It is a miracle. Turn off the news. Turn off the news. Read the news from private sources, not the government approved sources. And with that, finish your coffee and I'll see you Monday morning on the Daybreak Show, the home of sanity, clarity, and reason. Mm -hmm.